Yo, YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Chris from the Chris and Chris Show, man. And I try to upload this Saturday, man. But Friday night was crazy, man. That fight, the Prudential Center, man, the drinks, the food, the atmosphere was just electric. 10,000 and better. Largest crowd for a boxing fight in Newark. Sharing, and I was sharing the time with my cousins because, you know, I'm a New York guy, so. Newark is our cousin. Jersey's our cousin. But I'm going to jump into this recap real quick, man. It's a beautiful fight for Shakur Stevenson, man, who now um, obviously remains undefeated. Back-to-back -back losses for Robinson Casasio. But, man, being there was just crazy, man. Shakur in that first half was just super electric. He had that Jamel Harry performance in that first half. It was looking like he was going to put him away very early he showed that tenacity that tenacity i expected if you watch my tail of the tape you would know what i'm talking about he came out with that you know with that urge to put him down you know but then as the fight wore off you know has can say see i kept going for broke and he kept coming in with his head down we had a head butted and as the fight went a little deeper, he got back to the basics. You know, he started just making you pay for your mistakes, beating you on your mistakes. And, you know, I felt like he wasn't using the right hook, man. I was the only thing that was kind of disappointing. He wasn't using his right hook, especially for Kinsasia. The dude was just coming in head down. He tried to bully him. He was just straight coming in head down, was just grabbing him on a tie up, try to, you know, just try to man him, manhandle him, throw him around. And... He was just setting up for that right hook. He just he wasn't even throwing it, if you ask me, man. But the body work was beautiful. He scored that that knockdown on that straight left to the body. The straight left was obviously all there on night for him. Like I said, I wish I would have saw him throw that right hook more. And then more elusive combinations. He was just throwing the simple ones. You know, the two he was throwing two to the body and two upstairs. So you know, it would have been good to see him switch it up a switch it up a little bit, like Casasio. He was really just throwing a straight right hand. He wasn't giving Shakur any looks. He, but he, on the other end, was worse. He wasn't putting no combinations together. And the funny part that I was, you know, obviously watching this fight live, I've had the day to watch the fight, you know, through my phone on ESPN+. Plus, and it was more dominant. I had good seats, great seats. Don't get me wrong. It just the camera looks like that, but... If we were, like, if I had a water bottle, I could have threw it in the ring. Like, I was maybe 17 rows back. But, you know, back to the thing, man. It was just, it was great, man. It was great. The atmosphere was terrific. Shakur showed out. We wanted the knockout, obviously. But, you know, it was just, he he got back to the base the second half. The first half, it looked like he was going to put him out. You know, maybe that's one thing that we were disappointed about. But, you know, he did knock him down. And he just, you know, he showed out. He showed out the, the, the arena was just electric, the atmosphere, everything about the Prudential Center on that Friday was spectacular. But I'm going to keep it light, keep it tight, YouTube. It's your boy Chris from the Chris and Chris Show. Make sure I'm going to drop the what's next for Canelo, what's next for Shakur. And I got a couple of his dropping out. Y'all check it out. Peace. Oh!